Cutter, welcome to this brief tutorial video on the salvage of the macro. In this particular case, we are salvaging a macro transport vessel. However, most macros will follow roughly the same layout. I trust that you already know how to access the vessel and to depressurize your workspace. So we are going to start with the first things first, cutting out the floor. The floor of the vessel is attached with these cut points, which can easily be identified through your visor as yellow. And we'll simply cut them out, allowing the floor to sink down below the vessel. Now, before we leave the interior compartment to remove those floor panels, we will cut loose the cockpit from the chassis. The cockpit is attached with these four cut points. That should be all that holds this cockpit to this chassis. With the cockpit detached from the chassis, we are going to tether it to one of these two pylons to the front light right or to the front left of the cockpit. And simply let it pull away and sit there. As always, the more tethers you use, the faster it will move in that direction because of additional pull. This cockpit will be addressed later on. The next step is to address the reactor. On most macro models, the reactor sits open in the reactor room. There may be a control panel and additional tubing in this area, which then will need to be addressed those lessons will be in a separate video from this. For this example, the reactor is sitting open in its housing. And with the floor removed, it can simply be tethered and pulled straight down to the barge. While you are in this space, make sure to flush out the thrusters. Next step in the process is to cut the roof off. The roof of this vessel is attached in the exact same way as the floor. Two cut points per panel. You just need to be cut and allow it to travel away from the vessel. You also want to cut the four connection points that attach the engine bay to the rest of the ship. With the floor and the roof gone, you're gonna want to move back behind the engine room to remove the thruster. Different models will attach the thruster cap differently. However, the most difficult you're gonna have is to just cut it loose. The thruster in itself slides straight out of its housing and can be easily tethered straight down to the barge. With the cockpit removed, as was done earlier, the inside of the exterior walls are open from the front. You're going to want to access these and cut all the connection points. There are only connection points located along the bottom of the interior wall. This is considered confined space work. Make sure that you follow all safety precautions, especially at the back of this space as it houses the fuel for the vessel.
in this particular configuration the fuel tank is what's holding the back area of the vessel together removing the fuel tank is going to allow that last panel to move Also in this configuration, the nacelles are attached on the inside as opposed to an outside connection point. Simply cut them from the inside. And tether them down to the barge. Salvage secured. Of important no note, applied. since in this particular configuration, the engine compartment and the last panel is attached with the fuel tank on the exterior wall that houses the airlock the way to access that area is above the airlock with both fuel tanks removed and exterior walls removed the engine compartment itself is going to come loose from the chassis. Please be advised that in some cases, the engine compartment comes loose when you disconnect the four connection points within the chassis itself. This is dependent on model to model. The next step of the process is now to strip the chassis itself of components. All these components is going to hold some value, but depending on time, you may want to consider only addressing things that are going either towards a work order or a certification that you are working on. Once you have stripped off what you need, the bulk of the chassis is aluminum. Only a small portion of what's left of the chassis is the, the nanocarbon uh, nano that outlines the airlock. The time spent to try to cut that loose versus the loss of not salvaging it makes it not worth going through that work simply just pull the entire chassis structure to the furnace the last thing to be addressed is the cockpit which was pulled out of the way at the beginning of the salvage operation. The cockpit consists of three pieces. The center cockpit that houses the actual compartment for the pilots and the two outer walls on either side. Within the outer walls, you will always find coolant tanks. There are two ways to address these. You can either try to get them out through this small space may prove to be difficult depending on or you can cut that wall and then access it. regardless how you decided to deal with the coolant tanks in the side walls the last step of the process includes stripping out the cockpit for any components you deem necessary and scrapping the rest of the cockpit the bulk of the cockpit is still made out of the nanocarbon few areas you have aluminum again the value of trying to cut that aluminum out may not make it financially feasible to spend a lot of time on Thank you for your time and for watching this brief instructional video as mentioned at the beginning the macro comes in several different models 
However, the information that you have gained from this video will help you salvage those other models as well. This is a company mandated training. To verify that you have taken the training, please hit the like button below. And to sign up for additional mandated training, please hit the subscribe button. From all of us here at the company, thank you so much, Cutter. Stay safe out there.